Hello folks, now we are in the process of preparing for uh, A2, A2. So in, in my college I am dealing with the chapters of uh, uh, electric field first and then capacitor. So that's why I am starting my uh, question answers from electric field. And I have finished this chapter as well. So it says that uh, two small solid spherical uh, metal spheres A and B, A and B. So this is sphere A and this is sphere B sphere B have equal radi <coughs> radii and are in a vacuum vacuum their centers are uh, 15 centimeter apart shown here sphere A has charge 3.0 pico coulomb so it is uh, let us write it as QA and uh, sphere B has charge 12 pico coulomb we can write it as a QB the arrangement is illustrated in figure 5.1 as shown here uh, you have uh, <coughs> uh, so Point P, P is a point uh, that lies on the line joining the centers of the spheres and is a distance of 5 cm from the center of sphere A. So it is at 5 cm. Since the whole distance is 15 cm, this distance should be equal to 10.0 cm. Centimeter. So the first question is, suggest why the electric field strength in both spheres is 0. It is zero because so when we sprinkle charge on it, sprinkle charge on it. Let us say initially the charge, initially the charge just stays here, just stays here. Later, since it is a conductor, metal sphere, they will distribute equally. So they will just distribute equally until they come to rest. So initially they might be at the same place, but they uh, they uh, spread, they spread throughout the area until they come to rest. So when they are at rest, it means that. Uh, uh, when they are not performing any movement, that means uh, <coughs> the force at that time is equal to zero and uh, the electric field strength at that time should also be equal to zero. So they move or they rearrange, they, uh, they simply go here and there until the force is zero. And after the force becomes zero, they become balanced and remain as it is. So now, number B. Show that the electric field strength is zero at point P. So this point P, which is at a distance of a 5 cm from A and uh, 10 cm from B, we have to uh, prove that the uh, electric field strength there is 0. So let's do it. So here what I have to do is, uh, the total electric field here is equal to electric field due to charge A, charge A plus electric field due to charge B. So that will be equal to, from A it will be equal to QA by, QA by 4 pi epsilon 4 by epsilon into uh, 0 0.05 square. So this square comes from this. So 5 centimeter is equal to 0 0.05 millimeter when changed to SI. So plus we'll have uh, QB by QB by 4 pi epsilon 0 0.10 square. Now what we have is in, in at this point P, the electric field due to QA will be in this direction and from QB will be in this direction. So they are opposite. So that's why I must have this sign is equal to minus. So the value will be equal to QA is 3 pico coulomb, coulomb so 3.0 into 10 power minus 12 whole divided 4 pi into 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 into 0 0.05 squared minus QB is uh, 12 pico coulomb, so 12 into 10 to the power minus 12, whole divided 4 pi into 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 0 0.10 square. Now, when I use it in the calculator, so what happens here is, uh, so let us uh, me first take common here, common and do the things. So I have uh, uh, 1 and divided bracket. 4 into pi into 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 into 0 0.05 square equal to. So this thing into large bracket. Uh, uh, no, no, as a mistake. Let me uh, undo some steps here. So it's just be 1 by 4 pi into 10 power 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. So this into whole bracket uh, 3.0 into 10 power minus 12 divided 0 0.05 square minus whole bracket 12 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided 0 per 0 square very close very close yeah so after doing this it gives me exactly zero value 
So that means the electric field strength at point P is equal to zero. This can known, be known from this thing also. So if you take this ratio, this ratio, the the product of this, to, the division of this by this, and the division of this by this is is equal. So that from there also, I can know that the total electric field strength is zero. Now, now calculate the electric potential here. So electric field strength is zero. We have to calculate the potential. So V is equal to is equal to V A plus V B. So that means V due to A plus V due to B. That's equal to V due to A is Q A by Q A by 4 pi epsilon into 0 0.05 plus Q B is equal to equal to 4 pi epsilon into 0 0.10. So that's equal to Q Q A is 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 12 whole divided 4 pi into 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 0 0.05 plus 12 into 10 to the power minus 12 whole divided 4 pi into 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 0 0.10. So when I do this, it gives me, so let me first do this thing only. So 1 divided 4 pi into 8.854 into minus 12 equal to this into large bracket 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 12 by 0 0.05 plus end bracket 12 into 10 to the power minus 12 exponent and 10 uh, bracket close by close. Yeah. So this becomes this becomes equal to near about 1.62 volts. So the electric field strength at your potential at this point is 1.62 volt. Now, 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 let us go to the remaining question here. The remaining question says that a silver uh, 107 nuclei given here has speed V when it is a, a long distance from point P. Use your answer in C to calculate the minimum value of speed V such that the nucleus can reach point P. So this requires uh, the diagram once again. So let me use the diagram like this. Use the diagram like this. So what I have here is, what I have here is, I have some silver nucleus somewhere here, somewhere here. It is at a large distance. So large distance means that the force there is zero. So it has to come from here to here, come from here to here. In order to reach here, it has to be given some sort of Ke, some sort of Ke. So for that what happens is, uh, the Ke will decrease, the Ke will decrease from here to here and that will be stored in terms of the potential energy definitely. So what we have to do is, so in order to keep that much uh, uh, N of Ke, I have to do some work here. I have to do some work here. So the amount of work is required to, so the Ke decreases from delta Ke is equal to the amount of work that we have to perform on the charge body. So that gives me equal to 1 by 2 mv square minus 0 because just reach here means here it comes uh, at rest and uh, mm, uh, at, at that time the uh, k should also be equal to 0 equal to q into v which gives me this v is equal to equal to root of 2 q v by this m so now now the charge on the silver nucleus is equal to n into e equal to 40 7 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and its mass is equal to equal to 107 into mass of proton equal to 107 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus minus 27 kg so 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 i can do the calculation so v should be equal to root of 2 into into 47 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into V is 1.62 whole divided the mass is this so it is 107 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus uh, 27 equal to so let me do it in the uh, calculator so it will be uh, 2 into 47 into 1.6 exponent minus 19 into 1.62 divided bracket 107 into 1.66 exponent minus 27 bracket close equal to mm, root answer equal to so this value comes to be equal to 
1.17 into 10 to the power 4 meter per second. So that is nearby equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power 4 meter per second. So you can use either of these values. So it will be 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. So meter per second is given here. I, can just, I, I just need to write this thing. So that's the solution to all the questions of this.